can't stay here anymore. tell you it's about the fastest deal I've ever done in my life. Yeah, you know, the house, most people, they want to look every which way, up and down, round and round. Not you guys, huh? You come, you look, you like it, you take it. Super fast, huh? long you been up? A while. Uh, yeah, Paul dropped off the box of clothes uh, from the lost and found, I guess, just until we can get you some new ones. So I have to wear a uniform? It's a fancy place. Books, check. Schedule, check. Unacceptable shoes, check. We'll go shopping right after school. Great. So, uh, did you pick a sport yet? Uh, yeah, I'm not really a big sports guy. Well, I'm afraid it's mandatory. Uh, this time of year, your choices are football, fencing, and cross country. Okay, thanks, Mr. Abernet. Good luck, soldier. I don't know how to thank you for this, Paul. Uh, no need. So... How are you holding up? Fine. Well, hopefully a fresh start will do you both some good. I'm sure it will.
first day of work. Oh. Just gotta love it. All right. All right. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing some taquitos. Uh, some zucchini. You really like zucchini, huh, new kid? I'm seeing some jello. That's but... enough forensic analysis, gentlemen. <laughs> gotta respect the first day of work. <laughs> Welcome to cross country. I was cross country. I was. Whatever. I want this just kind of remind you of mom. It's not that I don't want to be reminded. I. I just want to have some control over it. I want you to have the car. What do you mean? Kid your age ought to have your own set of wheels. What? Well, and how are you going to get around? Previous tenant just left it behind, I guess. You know, Dad, I've never seen you ride a bike in my entire life. Well, I assure you, I am perfectly capable of it. You there? Asshat! Sorry. God. Oh man, you got Ammonheimer for sure. Better get some nose plugs. That smells like a dying warthog. Hey Mason, here comes the circus. You know, I always expect like twelve midgets to get out of that thing. There's one. <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that. Hey, Gober, when did the elephants get here? <laughs> oh. oh, man. My favorite time of day. Behold, the muff truck. How come we don't get to take classes at their school? Because we never come back. Morning, ladies. Hey, Mason. Hey, Ken. Up, hey, Tommy. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> Shut up. Est-ce que vous pouvez me décrire ce qu'on voit sur cette photo, Monsieur Rios? Nous voyons trois chevaux. 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 Et qu'est-ce que nous voyons d'autre, Mademoiselle Westman Nous voyons. Mm -hmm. Je ne sais pas. Est-ce que nous voyons des gens Monsieur Palais. Euh, nous voyons beaucoup de gens et s'excitent en espérant qu'il y ait je vais gagner le course. Très bien. And the area of this circle, of course, is pi r squared. And then multiply by the height to give us the volume of the cylinder, right? Any questions? Yes. What's with the belt? Uh, that's just something I do. Freak. <laughs> and it looks like we're out of time. You have the homework, and it's on the website if you need to check. So, um, 
How goes it so far? Great. Seem like nice boys. Ah, uh, they're not. They're uh, spoiled little snots who won't have to work a day in their lives unless Daddy runs off with the secretary and takes all the money with them. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Um, Bill, I don't want to overstep my bounds, but uh, have you had the chance to talk to anybody about Jeannie? Uh, I mean, you know, once in a while, call my brother or... Well, I, I mean a professional. Because I happen to know a guy. Got a flawless reputation, well respected. Our health plan will cover everything so it won't cost you a dime. I don't know. Okay, uh, look, this really isn't about you. You see, as long as I keep up the appearance of caring about my staff, it maintains my carefully crafted image of being a good guy. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah, I knew you'd understand. So. Huh, good idea, terrible idea. I guess probably a good idea. I couldn't help but notice that those that didn't do well on the test are also behind on their homework. So if you want to improve your grade, please, I would suggest you pay attention to your assignments. Makes sense, right? Thank you. I thought you would uh, agree. You know, I like to think that I'm a good teacher, but two students working together can sometimes be quite helpful. Uh, how would you like to be Miss Westman's homework partner? Uh, yeah, sure. Lacey? Yeah. Thank you. You can go now. Okay, so what's up with that Lacey Westman girl? The princess of darkness. Uh, you mean my future wife? <laughs> Dude, she would have sex with you and then eat your head. You going out with anybody? Yeah. Mace? They are not going out. Oh, really? Well, what would you call it? Using her whenever he feels like it. Mr. Cell asked me to be your homework partner. Shut up! Dude, why the hell doesn't stuff like that happen to me? Because you're nasty and objectionable on almost every level. Oh, man, we got to catch up. You're not going to mind if we smoke you. Go for it. Sucks when the little guy beats you, doesn't it? Good luck with l l l lazy. Lacey's homework partner? Mom, I got it. You didn't say anything about a homework partner. Mom, I have a homework partner. Come on. Ride horses? Look, we don't have to make cordial chit chat or become besties, okay? The only reason I'm doing this is she said she'd give me extra credit, which I need because if I fail, then I'd have to do junior year over again, and I'd rather put my head in a wood chipper. Okay. Can you use that chair? I'm sure you've heard um some kind of freak slut basket case, but I'm afraid any hopes you had of us having wild gymnastic sex are destined to be frustrated. Gotcha. My friends used to call the version of me before I met Jeannie PJ for pre-Jeannie, and the person I became after we met was AJ for after Jeannie. Apparently, PJ was this kind of a lifeless lump, and AJ was a great, fun guy. How long was it between her diagnosis and death? 61 days. 
I'm sorry. So, Bill, <clears throat> see, neurons, neurons that fire together, wire together. So when we're happy, the neurons in our brain align in a way that tends to sustain that feeling of well-being. The same idea also applies to depression, like what you'd expect during a period of grief. Now, grief is completely normal, of course. But a year or more outside of a grief-inducing event, I like to see my patients in more of an emergent posture. The good news is that we have a battery of medications available to us to help kickstart you in the right direction. I'd like to write you a prescription for something called Lexapro. It will boost the levels of serotonin in your brain, and it's likely that you'll feel a little bit better by the next time we meet. Are you comfortable with that? If you think it'll help. You hungry, sweetie? I can fix your plate. Better get it while you can. When it comes to your mom's macaroni salad, I wait for no man or boy. So, Mom, tell us why, of all the things you could have done on your birthday, you chose something as boring as a picnic? <laughs> because a boring picnic lets me have my two favorite people in the whole wide world all to myself. Just being here makes me feel so very... Very, very happy. Oh, wow, here it comes. Another genie ballet spontaneous outburst of affection. I just can't help it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Make it stop, please. You happy, sweetie? You can fix your plate. for Wes, part two, number one. You will remember that among lives, many joys, it can also be very hard. But just know it has nothing at all to do with you. You, Wes, are a bright, shining star. So... I'm sorry, can we just stop? <laughs> I just love you so much. Don't ever forget that. You guys hear about Taper's party this weekend? Please. It's an exercise in futility. I just want to touch a girl. Like this. Stop that immediately. You know what you really need, Gil? You need a girl you can look up to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, how's it going with La 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 Lacey? Dude, I swear, if you transfer in from North San Fran, wherever, and bag Lacey Westman, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, I really don't think you need to worry about that. Dude, you're her tutor. You're an authority figure. Chicks love that. Mm, you think that may be your fantasy, Raph, not hers? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, what's the deal? I don't know, man. There is no deal. I mean, as far as I can tell, she, she hates my guts. Yeah, man. Welcome to my world. 
Bonjour, Mademoiselle Roussel. Bonjour, Monsieur Keyes. You know, it's funny. You French are supposed to be so picky about your coffee, but I see you sucking down a lot of folders here, young lady. Well, we have to make do, don't we? Listen, I got some primo box seats for the L.A. Clips Friday night. What do you say you and me go out? We got a couple of Cadillac... Listen, uh, I'm very sorry, but I have to discuss a student right now, so it, perhaps we can speak later. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry, I know we haven't officially met, but if you could pretend to talk to me for a minute, I, I would very much appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I'm Karine Roussel. Hi, uh, Bill, L.A. You know, um, I don't know if you have that expression, but um, in France, sometimes we say better a stranger than someone you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I think our expression is anyone but him. <laughs> Your son is in my class, French. Yes. He's very advanced. Well, uh, Wes's mother was fluent. Was she French? No. Oh. Uh, Michigander, actually. But um, when she was a little girl, she heard that French was a romance language, and uh, she thought if she learned it, her life would be romantic. <laughs> nice. And was it? I guess it was, yes. Darwinism is so depressing. If you just so happen to be born with the traits girls deem desirable, then you're chin deep in the bouquet. But if not, then you're left out on the fringe. Hoping that one of the alpha males falls off of a cliff or gets eaten by a saber tooth or some shit. Don't forget about being rich. Mm. It's a big one. That's very true. Instant shortcut to the top. You know what? Screw this. I'm going home so I can study, get into a good college, get a good job, and get rich. It's my only hope at this point. See you later, Master Beta. Later. Okay, that should be cure. Cure, curé, cool, and curl. Should this be a or a te? Please leave. Look, okay, I don't want to. Just wait outside. She's in trouble, isn't she? Uh, what do you mean? For failing French? <sighs> She's not gonna fail. You're worse. And you're... Annabelle. There was a girl at my old school named Annabelle. We called her Banana Bell. That's what Lacey calls me. Can I call you that? No. <laughs> Why not? Because it's a privilege you haven't earned. No one really makes friendly conversation in this house, do they? That means you can go back in. Promise me you won't tell anybody. Okay. No, I need to hear your promise. Promise. Yo, Palais, you realize it's been like three weeks since you left South Chuck? Oh, our little Wes is growing up so fast. <laughs> Wes, can I talk to you for a moment? Hi. Um, I just wanted to ask how things are going with uh, Lacey. They're fine. Do you think it's helping? <laughs> the truth is, Mr. Sell, I really don't know. She doesn't say much. I see. Just wanted to check in. Thank you, Wes. Thank you. S'il vous plaît, finissez vos deux feuilles d'exercice pour demain matin. Des questions? 
Merci. Miss Westman, may I speak with you? How are you? Fine. Working with Wes? Is it helpful? Yeah. Good. You know, Lacey, in a lot of ways, you remind me of me when I was your age. I think we should stick together with all these crazy boys running around, right? So tell me. How are you? Really? Come here. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Don't apologize. It's, it's good to cry. Much better than keeping all that crap inside, right? What time you have to be back to school? 12.15. That's good. That gives us a little time if, if you'd like to talk a bit. Why are you doing this? Because I like you and because I think maybe you don't have anyone else to tell. Hey. Hey. Just doing some prep work. It's too much shade in the back, so plant the garden here. Put in some lettuce, beans. You okay? Yeah. I don't know. I, maybe a little out of it, I guess. You probably tell the doc these happy pills are more like spacey pills. What a drag your old man is, huh? Even on drugs, I'm no fun. Look, I, I really don't need you to be Mr. Smiley Face all the time. Be nice to get a break from Mr. Droopy, though, wouldn't it? Tomatoes, lots of tomatoes, of course. Right. Well, mom, tomatoes, technically. Still the only person I've ever known that eats them like apples. Right. I remember in uh, sixth grade, I got in that fight because someone called her hottie tomati. Yeah, you stuck up for her. Yeah. She'd be proud of you, Wes. Making the adjustment to a whole new... Everything. <clears throat> so exactly how much of this are you digging up? I was thinking all of it. All of it? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get to it then, right? Feel free. Did you say something to Miss Resell about me? No. I mean, she did ask about you. What'd she say? She asked how all this was going. What'd you say? I said, I don't know. Why would you say that? Because <laughs> I don't, I guess. You mad? Why would I be mad? I don't know. Some people really don't need a reason. Did she say something to you? Mm, maybe. You know, whenever I talk to you, it kind of feels like I'm on some dumb cop show. And you're like this surly suspect who doesn't want to give up any information. She was just being really nice, and I was wondering if you had said something about what you saw. 
I promised I would. Yeah. Dinner time. I'm not hungry. You are hungry and you're eating. I'm not raising an anorexic. She said you are hungry, you're eating, and she's not raising an anorexic. Yeah, I heard her. Mom, Wes is here. No, he eats, doesn't he? Well, this should be interesting. Sorry for the complete absence of flavor, Wes. It was Lacey's father's turn to cook. Lacey, why don't you tell your mother that paying the mortgage, the credit cards, tuition, every other bill that comes into this house, it doesn't leave me much time to cultivate my culinary skills. Why don't you tell yourself? So, Wes, are your parents still together? Barbara and Davis are getting a divorce, but on the advice of counsel, neither is willing to move out. Um, my mom passed away last year. Sorry to hear that, Wes. I'm sorry, too. The difference is I actually mean it. Tell me about the belt. That's a genie thing. She, uh, she used to tease me because my belt would kind of drift over that way as the day went on. Said I should just start out the day with it where it was going to end up. So one day I just started out with it there and made her laugh. She said it was only fitting because I was a little off center to begin with. <laughs> she had a good sense of humor. Yeah. Okay, so I find that grieving spouses usually fall into one of two groups. One describes their loved one as someone who filled a void in them. The other describes them as someone who added a dimension to the person they already were. Which would you say best describes you? It's both. Which would you say you favor? All of the above. Okay, fair enough. I'm just looking for something to help us move on. From what? From your wife, Bill. The only way you're going to feel better is if we figure out some way for you to let her go. You recognize that, don't you? Yes. Okay. As for the uh, Lexapro... Finding the right medication can sometimes be a trial and error process, so I'm going to switch you to something called Cymbalta. See if that works better for you. Fine. Bill? Hello? What a coincidence. Back home, I'm used to running into people, but here it always gives me a surprise. Next. Excuse me. Hi, uh, Palais. P-A-L-E-T. Ten dollars. Bill? I'm sorry to bother you like this, but I have a favor to ask. Um, you know, Coach Keys, um, big muscle, small brain. Extra large coffee mug. Yes, ridiculous, that mug. More of a jug, really. I think you could actually bathe a cat in it. Anyway, he asked me out for Friday, and I'm desperate for a reason to say no, but I, I, I'm afraid I'm running out of excuses. Oh. Oh, so you, you want me to be your excuse? Would you mind terribly? No, that's, that's sure, that's fine. Unless you're busy, of course. Uh, no, I'm not busy ever um okay. i generally eat in the evenings hmm. we could eat together yes we can eat together that sounds very nice great um okay i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> yes see you tomorrow all right number four i have no idea how to say that 
J'adore le coucher du soleil. Do I have to say it like that? Like what? Like I'm an effeminate French man who's in love with himself. Oh, that. No, yeah, you do. You have to say it like you're an effeminate French man who's in love with himself. Mm. Yeah. Then I've got the perfect homer partner, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. Why do you do that? Do what? Your arm. Because I'm happy, well-adjusted, and really excited about my future. Of course, I'm a little upset that I didn't make cheerleader this year, but there's always next year, and I feel like if I work really, really hard, it could definitely happen for me. So you're telling me nothing has happened? At all? Nope. <laughs> You do realize what a fail this is, right? Not to mention how personally disappointing this is for me. You've been with this girl for over 10 hours. That's more time than Gober spent with a girl in his entire life. Hey, Pelé. Props on your strategy, man. What strategy? You know, start off with the psycho whore and work your way up from there. <laughs> yeah, I just hope you're banging her by now. Just trust me, it doesn't take half the work you're putting in. That's the other thing I hate about evolution. Why does the dominant male always have to be a dick? What does persistent dickishness have to do with furthering the species? Hey, Mason. What's the matter with you guys? So? Which one of you Nobel laureates started this? That depends, or do you mean verbally or physically? Shut up, Raffi. I don't really care who started this. I already talked to the other three, and if there is so much as glancing contact between any of you knuckleheads, both parties will be expelled. Is that clear? Yes, yes, sir. Expelled. As in, gee, why didn't I get into college? All right, I got expelled. Now I can spend the rest of my sad life selling mangoes from the side of the freeway. In the meantime, welcome to disciplinary probation. You'll also be serving weekend detention on litter patrol. Everybody happy? Yes, sir. Gober. Well, sir, according to the honor code, we're supposed to be honest at all times. But if I told you I was happy, I'd be lying. I'm very happy. Be gone. The truth is, I always imagined I would be fantastically good at marriage. You weren't? Well, it began... Pretty good, and then uh, we found out I could not have children, and it wasn't so good after that. So I became a teacher. If you can't be a mother to one, be a mother to many. How long were you married? 33 years. That's practically a lifetime. Well, I guess so, but never felt that way. What an amazing thing to be able to say. Tout se passe bien, madame? Tout est bon? Très bien, c'est très bon. Merci. Ça me fait plaisir. Quelqu'un de chez nous qui comprend la nourriture française, moi ça me fait sourire tout le temps parce qu'ici, euh, je regarde quoi, les gens. Donc, euh, je veux Écoutez, pas. Écoutez, je suis désolée, mais le monsieur avec qui je suis parle pas français. Je pense que c'est un tout petit peu mal poli de continuer à parler en français. We're talking about the food, but. You know. Oui. Oh. Excusez-moi. C'est très bon. Merci. <laughs> okay, so I obviously didn't understand more than two words of that, but. Um... Was it a little... Awkward. 
I mean, I love the French, but one thing that drives me crazy is how they babble on endlessly, as if anyone around who doesn't speak French is simply a piece of furniture. <laughs> well, I do have more in common with a lazy boy chair than I like to admit. I am that way, too. I mean, give me a nice, cozy chair and a good book, and you'll need a tow truck to get me to move. So I guess we have that in common. What? A general unwillingness to move, unless absolutely necessary. Sometimes I look at those little fish, you know, stuck to the side of the aquarium. Mm -hmm. You know, the... <laughs> and I'm like, maybe it's not such a bad life. Really, a sucker fish. Not yeah. a bad life. No, I mean, okay, of course, it's bound to become a little monotonous, but think about it. How stressful can it be? Well, that is definitely a valid point. I mean, you have only one job. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes, excellent. Very good. I can do the guppy? The guppy? Oh, guppies are fun. <laughs> <laughs> Big date, go. Oh, well, well. Well? Is that a smile I'm seeing? She's very nice. What can I say? Maybe these happy pills are working. That'd be good. Right? Yeah, sure. How's the running going? I'm starting to kind of like it, actually. I wish I was a little better, but... Maybe that's something we can work on. We? Like, me and you? Like, yeah, like Dr. Rollins said I should start exercising. Maybe we could run together. Yeah. Yeah, if you want. Okay, now, uh, what about this fight? Yeah, no, I know, Dad, it's just... God, this guy, he's such a... He's, uh... What's that thing Mom used to call someone if she, like, really couldn't stand? A dingus. A dingus, Dad. This guy. I mean, he's so much worse than a dingus. It's crazy. Okay, but... That doesn't make it a smart thing to do. I know, yeah, it's... Stupid. Okay, um, hey Dad, do you mind if I kind of throw some advice your way? If you're gonna start dating women, you gotta lose those tidy whities. Why? Well, because it's it's practically a universal law that no man has ever looked good in man panties. I'm not sure I agree with that. Well, it's just, the thing is, it's not really an opinion. It's kind of a fact. So I can't really disagree with it, you know? I don't know. No, don't start. Don't start with that, Dad. Please, stop. Okay. Dad, I'm begging you to stop that immediately. It's too late. It's too yeah. late. Yeah. All right, that's fuck you. Okay. All right, night. See you tomorrow. Pleasant dreams. run this fast <laughs> this is not fast okay what about brakes you take brakes nope no brakes this is just not gonna work okay yeah yeah go ahead sure go 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 enjoy all right oh good lord How do you like this? 
Come on, Usain Bolt. Let's pick up the pace. Okay. You're on bike. Okay. Yeah, I'm also way older than you. What? Hey, jackass. Starting a fight to defend my honor? Like you're some doofus knight from medieval fantasy land? He's a dick. And you're a dumbass who's lucky to still have his teeth. Where are you going? You'll see. What is it? Find out. Are you serious? I'm trying to reduce your dork factor. Do you have any idea how ridiculous you look driving around without a passenger seat? This is awesome. I mean, where'd you even find it? Some creepy old man on Craigslist. You totally owe me. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Awkward. I'm just gonna hug you. You're allowed. Shit. Watch your language. Why? You say shit all the time. Shut up. Wes, what's taking so long? <laughs> Holes don't line up. Down this road, towards the line ahead that leads us straight into. Are you sure this isn't a driver's seat? No. Speed ahead. It's just like you always say. They never pick up litter. It's more about being prepared to pick it up. That's litter. Well, he likes to give it a head start first. Hi. I'll do it. Thanks for coming. It's a lot less boring. You mean you don't enjoy homoerotic jousting with your buddies? You know, I'm just not quite as good at it as they are, so... I seriously doubt that. So, Mr. Abernack, he's having a, a birthday dinner for my dad. And I figured, you know, in return for all the amazing help that I've given you in French, that... Maybe you could come. Oh, my God. Did you just invite me to a calculus teacher's birthday party? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I don't know, Wes. I mean, I'm a big girl and all, but that just sounds batshit crazy. You know math teachers. You get them drunk, and then next thing you know, they're playing spin the compass and hide the protractor. The girl is mine! Ah! Nay! All young witches belong to me! So... Is that a yes, or... No? Mm, a yes. I suppose. 
You can promise me I'll live through it. Everything was delicious, Nancy. Yes, very good, thank you. I'm glad. Everyone deserves a good dinner for their birthday. Speaking of, one more. Ah. Wes, I just gave the man bookends. <laughs> Why in the world would you try to compete with that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Those are hot. They are. Wes is trying to convert me to boxers. Phil, please tell me you're not still wearing grippers. I guess I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, son. You're welcome, father. Well done, Wes. Now, if you could just do something about the belt. No, 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 don't lose the belt. Are you kidding? It looks like my calculus teacher downs three shots of vodka before he gets dressed every morning. Well, it's actually gin, Paul. No. <laughs> Excuse me, but a man without quirks is boring. She's right. Everyone's entitled to a few little weirdnesses. Mm hmm Like father or like son. Oh. Excuse me, weirdnesses? Um, hello, backward car seat. Um, hello, you're the one who gave that to me? Okay, pretending to be a pirate. Okay, that, that wasn't me. Whatever. Effeminate French accent. Uh, there's a lesson here, Wes. If you expose your vulnerabilities to a woman, you will be eviscerated. They are a ruthless, cold-blooded gender. Okay. It has nothing to do with the temperature of our blood, okay? Men are just afraid of strong women. They think because we stand up to them, that means we don't like them, when half the time it means the exact opposite. You know, Phil, for such a mild-mannered guy, you sure attract some feisty women. <laughs> I remember being with Jeannie one night at some bar, and this giant, lecherous redneck would just not leave us alone. And finally, she said, look, you're bound to have better luck at the Natural History Museum. They have a few gals in their Neanderthal exhibit who would think you're the greatest thing that walks upright and talks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> she did have a way with words. Thank you for the ride. Thanks for inviting me. Your wife sounds like a very special person. I, I cannot think how big a hole must be left after losing someone like that. Thank you for saying that. Um, I actually bought you some flowers, but then I forgot. I left them inside. Is that some kind of sneaky way to invite me to come in? No, no, I... <laughs> no, but would you like to come in? You know, I cannot believe you said I like pretending to be a pirate. Please, if I wasn't there, you totally would have been doing it. Yeah, okay, that's probably true. So, what's the deal with your dad and Corrine? I mean, she's clearly got a crush on him. Yeah. What? I don't know. He tries to fake it, but inside, I think he's still just nuked both must be you know for a long time we barely even talked we didn't go anywhere we didn't do anything and one day I just started doing stuff again I kind of felt bad about it Maybe he'd think I didn't miss her as much. That wasn't it. Like, it's just, can't think about it all the time. Yeah. All that does is just, just makes it even worse.
What? I don't want to do that. Why not? Because if we do, then you tell somebody, and then they tell somebody, and then pretty soon the whole school will find out, and then it just becomes another episode of let's drink crappy beer and make out high school bullshit that doesn't mean anything to anybody. So you think I'm the guy that goes to school and tells everybody? No. I don't know, maybe. I'm not. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Just what? I'd like this to be better than that. Look, I like you, okay? You're gonna make me say it out loud. Just, I'd like to go slow. Okay. So, what you're saying is that you like me so much that you don't want to kiss me. Something like that. Okay. I mean, you know, at least not again. Tonight. That's right. But, maybe, possibly later. Yes, Wesley, maybe, possibly, later. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. Yes, thank you. I think it's called uh, negligent minimalism. I hear it's all the rage in German prisons. (laughs) (laughs) Would you excuse me? Mm. Of course, yeah. Yes? Being with her something you wanted to happen? Yes. Why? I thought it might take my mind off things. Did it? No. Did you feel like you were doing something wrong? Yes. Why? Because it just made me think of Jeannie. Think what exactly? Victorine could never be her no one is replaceable bill that doesn't mean someone else can't play a special role in your life listen we'll try a new medication and then augment her on top of it but i'm worried one of the things holding you back is your own belief that feeling better would be a betrayal of genie i don't i don't think that's the case The larger point I'm trying to make here is that to have a chance at feeling better, you have to want to feel better. Dad? Dad? 
Yeah. You okay? I'm fine. Sure. It's pretty late. I said I'm fine, Wes. I just... I just need a little air. I'll come in soon. picked up a shit ton of beer. What do you say? understand whether or not you're with her. I promised I wouldn't talk about it. So that means there's most certainly something to talk about. <laughs> see that right there. I knew it. How often do you get to see this true happiness? Don't you think that's great? Yeah. What? I agree. It's cool. That was crazy. Yeah, who are you picking up next time? Whatever Mason wants, right, Mace? <laughs> hey. I'm not doing the homework thing anymore. Wait, why? I don't know, Lacey. Why don't you ask Mason? sure that was bullshit <laughs> right don't laugh at me how can i not first you tell me you're a fatal talk about us and then what do you do 
to go out with the one guy who's guaranteed to tell the whole goddamn school. We didn't go out. It wasn't like that. And what was it? It was just, just an excuse to get drunk and... And what? And... I don't know. It was just stupid. Stupid high school bullshit? Yeah. Yeah. Like you wouldn't do with me, but you will with that jackass. Who do you do all this for, anyway? Do what? What you do with Mason. What you do to yourself. Because it sure as hell isn't doing you any good. So who's it for, huh? Is it for your parents? Because I'm pretty sure they're too busy hating each other to give a shit! Well, I'm sorry I can't be like you and just pretend like nothing bothers me. I guess I'm one of those unfortunate people who's actually affected by life. Okay, for your information, I am affected. The only difference is I don't think the answer is cutting myself to pieces or being Mason Banks' first call when he's looking for an easy piece of late-night ass! Look, I may be incredibly messed up. And I may do some incredibly stupid things. But at least I'm not a self-righteous prick who goes around pretending like he's God's perfect little gift. Good luck and fresh. Good job today, fellas. Thanks, Coach. Hold up, boys. You want to do better, don't you? Does it matter? It only matters if it matters to you. Look, I'm... I'm not exactly the Vince Lombardi of running coaches, but, um... I can tell you this, cross country is all about pain, not denying it or pretending it doesn't exist, but recognizing it for exactly what it is and then finding a way to push through it. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Bill? Hi. Thanks. I wanted to thank you again for inviting me to your party. I had a very nice time. Good. There's a free concert on Saturday at McGiffin Park. Chopin, Berlioz. Perhaps you'd like to go? I, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you mean the concert or? No, I mean. You and I spending more time together. I, I don't think that's a good idea for either one of us. I'm sorry if I pushed you. You, you didn't. I did, and I should have known better. You know, Saturday, it, it doesn't have to be a date. I mean, it, Kareem, we can listen please, to music and... Please. You're a, a lovely, wonderful woman. Any man w would be crazy not to see that. But I just, I, I can't do this. I need you to understand that. Yes, I, I do. If... 
Y is equal to the sine of pi x, then, uh, then we take the integral from negative 2, no, positive 2, to the endpoint of 5 over 2. Uh, then, then we have the, uh, the, uh, no, okay, there, there should be a dx here, uh, but that's not, that's not right. Um, take the definite integral from positive 2 to the end, but you still have to, yes, you still have to square it, don't you, Bill? Yo, Mr. Palais, you all right? Yeah, I just, uh, I just need a minute. I thought it was getting better. Unfortunately, it's not uncommon for an upswing to precede a downturn. The thing is, Bill's connection with Jeannie was so profound that his grief is extreme. So much so that the emotional is now becoming physical. Which means what? If we don't find a way to turn this around, as bad as it is now, it can get worse. You okay? Yeah. As long as your dad is here, I want you to stay with us. Be fine. Look, Wes, we uh, we all can use somebody to lean on from time to time. I really appreciate that, Mr. Abernathy, but meeting all people really hasn't worked out all that well for me so far, so I'm just not going to do it anymore. We can continue trying new medications, but clearly we need to do more. I want to see you in my office three times a week. And I'm going to insist that you start going to one of those support groups that we talked about. I also think that we should discuss electroconvulsive therapy. Now, that may sound extreme, but the fact is it's a far more refined treatment than it used to be. It's very safe. And it's proven to be highly effective in treating severe depression that's uh, unresponsive to other forms of treatment. Given the severity of the break you just experienced, I believe it would be a mistake for us not to consider it. Mr. Palais. M Mr. Palais, are you still with us? Oh, there you are. So, I'm going to give you a muscle relaxant and an anesthetic. All you have to do is, is relax and take a nice nap. How does that sound?
had the opportunity to spend the best part of my life with this person. It's just not the same. will find it difficult to pass the final if I kick you out of it. Wes? How's your father? If there's anything I can do, I hope you'll let me know. Don't be last! Okay, let's finish hard! Let's finish hard! All right, bring it in. All right, for uh, those of you hoping to qualify for SBC, the uh, Trinity Quads will be your final opportunity. It's also a race in which we have yet to place higher than fourth. It's a rather uncomfortable fact, given that only four schools participate. So uh, please, if you bear me any goodwill at all, make sure that you eat a large carbohydrate-filled meal and that uh, you're not late for the bus. Martinez? Yes, Coach. OK, that's it. Hey, Wes, is it true your dad is not coming back? That's, that's what Vogelcheck said. Yeah, Vogelcheck's a brain dead moron. Yeah, if it, if your daddy's gonna be okay, right? Yeah, of course. He's so depressed he had to be hospitalized. They're done finding medication that can help, so they're just shooting electricity straight through his brain. But yeah, go. I'm sure everything's gonna be just hunky dory from here on out. people who've been through. What about the ECT? Things helping? I'm not sure. Feel any different? Not really. Dr. Rollins says it doesn't work for everybody. I'm supposed to be supported. I'm not asking you to do anything. Yes, you are. You're asking me to just accept it. Just sit back, just watch you die, just like mom. I know, I know this has been hard. Yeah, you think? I mean, first my mom dies, and then, then we just pack up and leave. Out of the blue, out of nowhere. Wish. 
Your mom and I were more... Everything! Okay, I know. I get it. But do you honestly think that this is what she would want? Mom is amazing. You think I don't miss her every single second of every single day? But here's the headline, Dad. She's gone. Forever. And she's never, ever coming back. Wes, I am so sorry. I don't want to be sorry. I want my dad back. I'm here. No, you're not. And you haven't been for a long time. If I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my life alone, tell me now. Because if you're just going to give up and die, then maybe I should too. Wes, please don't say that. I'm serious! That's what this is all about, right? There's a point to all this, to living. I mean, whether it's worth it to even try. Well, make up your goddamn mind, Dad. If the answer is no, why don't you just fucking kill yourself and get it all over?
Hello, Michael. It's Bill Pellet. Bill, what a surprise. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Thanks. Good. Good. Uh, listen, I, um, I'm calling because I know you were always a real supporter of Jeannie's work. Oh, yeah. And I wonder if the museum would like to have it. Well, we'd be delighted. Any specific pieces you had in mind? All of it. Everything. I'm, I'm sorry, did you say all of it? Yeah. No. I know you'll take good care of it. Of course. Absolutely goddamn extraordinary. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Us? That was, that was incredible. French final. Glad to hear it. But she's still in kind of a bad mood. Looks so official. No, right? So are you like a jock now? Time to kind of rebrand. Yeah, I mean, you did take awkward new kid about as far as you could. And plus, I mean, you had brooding loner locked up, so mm -hmm. that was never really an option. Heard you pass French? Yeah. I kept hearing your dorky voice in my head and going, cool, courant, cool, courant. Please try this again. You promise me something first. No more Mason. Thought it was gonna be something difficult. And no more hurting yourself. 
Yeah, Crane's been trying to get me to see some doctor. Promise me you'll go. No, I'm just making sure because I don't want to rush anything, okay? Just shut up or I'm keeping your medal. <laughs> I'm just going to give it to you anyway.